Today is a huge, huge day for me because it's the first time ever that I am leaving the United States and flying overseas internationally. Today I'm going to Kazakhstan, Astana, and I want to take you with me on the journey. Oh yeah, and one more thing. I'm gonna always make it count. Let's have a good one. Yo, tatted strength. I'm, I'm the strength part. <laughs> Приветствую всех моих друзей. Сегодня, точнее завтра, uh, tomorrow, uh, Хан Шатыр Battle of the Bars, Казахстан. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we have finally arrived in Kazakhstan, and we're here with the crew. We got Drew. We got Chris. We got, how do you say your name exactly? Albina. Albina. So it's not Albina. 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 Okay. <laughs> Albina. Okay. <laughs> and then we got, you already know, Islam. Yeah. Hello, my Thank bro. you, brother. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Well, we're here for the Battle of the Bars. That's going to be intense. Chris, get back in here. <laughs> get in here. Get in. Look at this view, though. <laughs> This place is super super cool. I started recording. It's like five in the morning. And I'm thinking about, thinking about, thinking about you. How you used to be for me. How you used to put it on me. How you used to be. This is the attire I got for Kazakhstan for today. Start from the bottom. We got the Converse. It's just heather type looking joggers. My driven jacket. Remember, these are split hem. It's the calisthenics logo. We got the driven hat. Just swagging it out, trying to. Just represent what this week means to me. Yeah, I'm thinking oh. about, thinking about, thinking oh. about. Please. Okay, first impression of Kazakhstan. People are a little bit crazy with driving, right? Yes. Yes. Not, they're not very friendly driver. Number two, there's a lot of snow. Number three, they only gave you really, really small cups. Not too good these days. Caught up in my ways. I need help, oh baby. All I wanted from you. <laughs> Slightly tighten here. A little bit. All right, hands Yeah, I'm freaking three big. Three big. Three big ass three guys. Three guys. Three yeah, you know, like, <laughs> like, oh yeah, that's cool. Please. Oh wow. It's like 6 a.m. I'm gonna go get some breakfast downstairs. I'm wearing the gray driven colorway hat. And then I have the driven jacket. And of course, the calisthenics logo on the back of the joggers. Today's gonna be really fun. 2J, Kenneth Galarzo, and Dennis are all coming. Uh, they arrived today. Actually, they arrived at like 4 a.m. So I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and then let's get on with this day. All I need from you, from you is hard. One thing I never make an excuse about is getting my work done. Making sure that I'm always prepared for not only today, but tomorrow and a month, two months from now. And that's where, you know, working hard is, is important, but it's also working smart. How long are you going to be working while you're on vacation? How long are you going to be working while you're um, traveling and working on different things outside of that specific business that you are working for? So, you know, here right now, I am editing you know a video that we just shot yesterday um absolutely insane and i told myself <clears throat> you know, always have fun 
always enjoy life. But if this is something that you enjoy, if editing is something you enjoy, or maybe uh, teaching, or whatever it is, then do it every single second that you have. Because it will be rewarding in the end for you, especially when the results are there and people are seeing how hard you've worked and all of the work that you've produced. I need you to come back. To, I need you to come back. To. What, are you, what, what are you? What are you doing? Don't worry about it. Okay. Oh. Oh. But who's that random guy in the background? <laughs> This is where the event is going to take place. We are here at Barbar's gym. As you can see, everyone's training. I'm gonna hit a little leg workout very, very quick. Let's go. Say you don't feel a thing, but you know you do. After all the things that we've been through, I don't understand how we couldn't We had no limit. I was on and off the road baby. At first she told me it was cold baby. Then you started acting crazy, crazy. No, 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 That's no. when I went out the door. <laughs> then I started seeing the home. Squad! Drew! That's me down here, Drew. <laughs> da! Yeah. Oh, this is really Dennis. Alright, right, Dennis. Dennis. Mm. What's in this? Yeah, Tradition, right? Yeah, that's borscht. Borscht. So Brendan just had, for the first time in his life, he had borscht. How do you know it's my first time? Because I trusted what you said. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'll never trust Гости столицы, добрый день, уважаемые друзья, добрый день, уважаемые жители нашей столицы Астана. Что хотелось бы сказать? Огромное всем спасибо за то, что здесь. this travel video. I kind of want to do this if I ever go on a trip, just make one video so you can kind of see what happened, the type of people that I came across, the different types of foods, how they live their lives. And uh, this is my first time ever being overseas and from what you can see, right? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful here in Astana, Kazakhstan. And the hospitality, everyone was just so nice. They're very loving. I felt welcomed. I felt like this is a family here. And that's really important to me because I was unsure. I was like, okay, I'm going to Kazakhstan. Uh, how's Kazakhstan going to be? Uh, will I be able to even connect with anybody else? But it was definitely 10 times more than that. Right when I got off the plane, I felt just loved. I felt a part of the family. I felt uh, important to the other person. And I just want to say thank you, Barbars, for bringing me out here. Uh, thank you, Islam, for uh, just everything you presented to us. Also, Albina, she was the translator on this trip. Really awesome. Even though we didn't even need to use her all the time, it was still great. Uh, I'm on my way to go to the Battle of the Bars, and I'm rocking his, uh, their team's jacket, street workout. And you know, this is something that I'm, I'm very passionate about, something that I want to continuously grow, not only with them, uh, but with other countries and other uh, teams and organizations and federations. Because I think that, and I know, I don't just think, I know that body weight training is not only special uh, with myself and these people around me, but in, for the whole entire world. It doesn't matter about like, you know, it's not about pushing yourself to do crazy tricks or anything like that. It's, it's about just moving and enjoying yourself and adding something to your life that you can be passionate about and share a connection with other people. Because, you know, you can do this with working out. You can do this with playing an instrument. You can do this by, uh, maybe you like to watch sports or whatever it is. You get to have that time to connect with other people. And I feel like bodyweight training 
gives you that opportunity and not only gives you that opportunity provides it for you but it's long lasting and it's going to be there for the rest of your life which is incredible so thank you guys for tuning in hopefully you enjoyed um, remember the calisthenics clothing is coming out one day soon I'm gonna release that just kind of randomly uh, I just love the clothing and, and what we've done to create it it's cost us a lot of money a lot of time, a lot of hard work, and I can't be more proud of where Calisthenics is going and what it's going to become. So thank you for being a part of the fam, and I'll see you next time. After all the things that we've been through, I don't understand how we couldn't pull through. Yeah. Just to tell me I had no limit. I was on 